Hey guys, what's going on? Quixel here and welcome back to the channel. This is the updated guide on how to install Breachers. This is currently for version 1.3, which just came out currently as of Thursday, January the 12th. Just know if another version of this game comes out, this tutorial is still accurate and you just have to download the most recent version. There's timestamps in the description if you couldn't tell. Basically, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this entire thing from downloading side quest, starting an Oculus developer account, and actually installing the game and putting it on the headset. So you can skip right away. Keep in mind two things. This only works on the Oculus Quest 2 and now PC VR headsets, which I'm not sure exactly how to do, but the download is there. Quest 1 users are not included in this. Starting off with the very first step to this entire tutorial is actually starting a Meta Quest developer account. And you will need this so you can actually plug your headset into your computer and transfer over files. Now this step can be completely skipped if you use CX File Explorer in your headset and you can do this without a PC. And the app link will be in the description as long as all the links inside this video first thing we're going to want to do is actually go up here and we're going to want to log in now this will be in the description it will obviously be named as oculus developer website and now that we're logged in we're going to want to go to my apps now that we're in this section we're going to want to go over here to organization manager as you can see right here on screen i have a few ones that i've already made to show off but you're going to want to hit create keep in mind to actually verify your developer account you're going to need a phone number now if you want to put anything in this organization name it really doesn't matter maybe you should keep in mind this little title right here maybe it's important if you uh if you know you're going to want to accept this now it's up to you if you want to read it i'm pretty sure no one reads anything that we have to read which we should all right literally now that we accepted that we have an organization we're big chillin dog that's literally it now that we're over in the oculus app we're going to want to go to the menu devices and then scroll down to headset settings go to developer mode which you'll see right here and then turn on developer mode now that we're finally finished getting developer mode settled, we're gonna wanna install SideQuest. In SideQuest, when you first pop up to the download page, linked in the description once again, you'll see that there is two different sides and there's an easy installer and an advanced installer. So once we're here, we're gonna wanna install the advanced installer. Now that you're done installing SideQuest, you're gonna find it wherever folder you put it in or if it's on your desktop, you're gonna go up to it and double click it just like you're gonna install anything else. Now from here, you can pick whatever you want. Usually I just pick only for me and you're gonna wanna let this install to whatever folder option it gives you. So I'm just gonna install there. Now after this, all you're gonna have to do is hit finish. You can run side quest if you want. I would assume you want to as you're, you know, going through with this tutorial. So I'd hit finish. Once you open side quest, this is exactly what it should look like for you, except for maybe you'll be signed out. Basically, all you're gonna wanna do is pick up your Oculus Quest 2 and you're gonna wanna turn it on. Once your headset is turned on, you're going to want to plug it into your computer. Once you plug it in, there should be a pop-up inside the headset, which I can't really show you what it looks like, but it will ask you to accept it and you just want to accept it. Now, if it's correctly done, you should see in the top left a little green bubble. It will say Oculus Quest 2 and then it will say whatever percent your headset's at. Keep in mind if this doesn't work the first time, I would try restarting your computer and your headset and see if that works. That's usually the issue if it doesn't connect right away. But now we're gonna actually leave SideQuest for now, leave it running in the background. Now that SideQuest is completely done, you're gonna wanna go over to the Breacher's Discord or the link in the description, I'll have both in there. And you're gonna wanna click on the link right here, the GitHub link or the GitHub link that I left in the description. The Discord's here in case you need to ask questions about this. Now you can also go into my comment section or my personal Discord server if you need to ask questions about the setup, but this is another good place if you need some help. Once you're on the GitHub page, it's gonna look a little bit different than last time. You're gonna have your option for Oculus Quest 2, but also you're gonna have your new options for your Rift or your Steam headsets. There's also a spectator mode in case you're into the eSports side of the game, but for now we're just gonna go and click on Quest 2. Once you hit install, you're actually going to see the actual installations right here. As you can see, it says Breachers doesn't work on any other headset than Quest 2 and obviously the new PC VR versions. And if you have any problems, they say you can uh, check here, but I should go over the tutorial quite swelly, so hopefully not too many issues arise. Right here, you can install within the Quest if you have the CX File Explorer I was talking about before. I'll leave that linked in the description. But today, we're talking about installing using a PC. We're going to click here. Once we're in here, we're just going to scroll down until we find the Breacher's Releases tab. Once we're here, just click on the Breacher Releases. And it'll take us to this page. It will only show the Alpha 1.3 if you're in the right area. 
So what you're gonna wanna do here is actually go down to the zip files, as you'll see right here. This one's PC VR, so we're gonna go under that. We're gonna go for the 1.3 alpha zip. Obviously the game's updated by now. You're gonna wanna get the newest version that it allows you to, but for now that's 1.3. We're gonna wanna wait for this to install. Keep in mind, this is a full game, so this is about a gigabyte. A VR game that's a gigabyte isn't too bad. I'd say that's honestly average size or, you know, way above average if you know what I mean. Now that your Breacher zip is finally done being installed, you're gonna wanna go to it and you're gonna wanna right click on it and then you're gonna extract your files. Once your files are done extracting, it should look something like this. And the folder should have an APK file and a .obb file. Once you're done with that, you want to head back over to SideQuest and you want to go to this little drop box with the arrow on it. Now this will prompt you to install files from your computer onto your headset. So you're going to want to go to your desktop and you're going to want to find that file that we just got. When you see these two files, what you want to do is you just want to grab and make sure you get both of them in there and you're going to open and this will start installing the APK file and the .obb. As you can see up in this uh, corner right here, this little thing will show you when your tasks are done. So we'll see this install right here. And now that these are both done, when they're both green and say okay at the end, or successfully transferred, all you're really going to want to do is honestly unplug your headset and you're good to go. One thing I will warn of is with this game is when you boot it up, if you end up on a loading screen or a black screen for what seems like an infinite amount of time, the best fix that I've found for basically everyone is honestly just turning off your headset, turning it back on, going back into the game, and usually that fixes it if you are stuck on that infinite loading screen. Another common issue is either you don't transfer both files or sometimes it's just like it doesn't install right which i don't know how to explain but that has happened to me another thing you should subscribe to quixel or me i guess i make funny vr videos like this one on screen that you can click on now it's a video where i couldn't afford bone labs so i played the cheap rip off of it i promise you it's funny go watch it if you like it then subscribe if you don't you know then that's fine thank you for watching this video leave a like leave a comment and i'll see you guys next time